Hello, there is Fimpossible Creations and in this tutorial video I will show you how you can upgrade animations of free Dragon model with my packages. We will start with basic movement without any upgrades which will look like this. Then transform it into something like this. So there will be new motion on wings, on tail and on spine. We will use packages like ground fitter, tail animator and spine animator. We will use Dragon the Terror Bringer asset made by Dungeon Mason. There we have set it up game object with ground fitter movement. If you want to know how to set it up, you can check my other tutorials. So I can move with WSAD keys. Object is trying to fit to the ground and move on the uneven terrain. We will replace this capsule with our dragon model. So let's drag the model onto scene. I will scale it down for our tutorial purposes and do small change to the animator. Ground fitter is using idle walk and run animation clips, so we take them and we will use animation speed parameter which we have to create. It's animated by ground fitter. When movement object is accelerating it goes up, when decelerating it goes down. We apply this parameter as multiplier for animation speed of movement animation clips. Let's see how our model is moving. Ok, I will tweak a little base speed of the animation clips to make it fit to the movement speed of the object. Maybe adjust it a bit more. Alright, we can work with that. First thing I will do will be setting up Spine Animator. So I add Spine Animator component to the object and it found automatically right bones to create Spine Chain. You can check my other tutorials for description how you can get right bones for the spine chain if component can't find them automatically. Now we click get and spine chain is created, but it not work right away. That's because this model animations have some exception stuff going on. We will fix it in last part of the tutorial. Right now we will use just one bone less to avoid this issue and show you setup in simpler way. So spine animator is working but animation is lacking something now. You can see this on the feet, they aren't grounded. It seems that in this model position keyframes are used, so we just untoggle positions not animated option to make it all work correctly. And now it's much better. Let's set up tail. Let's find tail bone. Add tail animator blending for animated bones. Hit connect with animator. And let's check how it works. Ok, it follows motion nicely. But you can see that something is going on with tip of the tail. And the reason for that is lack of rotation keyframes for one bone. We can fix this by toggling rotations not animated but enable this option only on bone with which we have trouble. So we patch this up. We disable it on the rest of the bones, because we want them to be animated by source animation. Let's copy settings in play mode, then paste in edit mode so everything is saved. Now I will quickly set up collisions for the tail, so it will be physically pushed from the terrain. So I drag here terrain to collide with. I will tweak the scale of the colliders for each segment of tail. Make it smaller at the end. And let's check how it works. Yeah, it's preventing clipping effectively. 
I will make this tail motion more noticeable by changing sensitivity. I will tweak it a bit more. Yeah, I like the settings. So let's copy them in play mode and paste it in edit mode. Now let's set up wings. Add tail animator to both of them, hit connect with animator, but we don't want all bones of wings to be included in tail chain. With this bone structure on these wings, it would look wrong. So we add fields in tail transforms list, we can put first bone from the chain and hit auto, then all child bones would be acquired, we remove them to the point we need, so only three. I will do the same for the other ring. And let's check how it works now. And it looks that something is wrong. And the quickest way to solve this will be using correctness algorithm. I will disable waving anyway. Then go to the tuning tab and here we can select parental which is the most universal correctness algorithm. Now it works right. We can enable root to parent to make wings react more wider. Now let's tweak this animation a little. We can go with sensitivity down to make it more subtle or go with it up to make it more aggressive. We can blend it with source animation to make it more subtle too, but in a bit different way. I will tweak it a bit more. Maybe a bit more blended. I like the settings, I think I will leave it like that. Let's paste in play mode so it's saved. Paste another wing, but with this pasting we pasted it with bones from other wing, so we must correct this. And now it's set it up. Let's check how everything works. Yeah, it looks nice. Now animations are more rich. We can also enable root to parent for tail, to make first bone react better when dragon moves. Now let's do correct spine animator setup for this model. We're using chest bone as last bone in spine chain. When we enter play mode it works wrong. We can fix it using selective positions and rotations not animated toggles. But when we enable it for all bones, the animations looks dull. This model don't have animated only few bones, which makes things problematic, but fix is really easy. We only need to find bones which don't have keyframes. The fastest way will be checking each one by one. In this case, it seems it's bone labeled number 2. This error sometimes can be visible only when model moves. And now we see it, positions are changing, and toggling positions not animated on the right bone fix the problem. And now it works fully correct. Then we need only to do some basic limitations for the spine animator component to get nice spine motion. So without any of the components it would look like this. But after our improvements it looks like this. And this tutorial ends here. I hope you liked it, leave a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more, hit bell for notifications about new videos. Thank you for watching and see you next time, bye bye!